Oh my god! What am I doing? What am I doing in my life? <laughs> Guys, we are moving out! I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth so soon into the year. <laughs> what is going on? At the beginning of the year, we were on TV on the Tamron Hall show, and then we celebrated Enzo's birthday, and now we have a home! Guys, we have a home! If you guys have been following us, since the beginning. I think I said talking about wanting to move out of this apartment like when I was about to give birth to Enzo because I said to feel cramped. And that is December 2022 that I started talking about wanting to move out. And then the whole of 2023, I was obsessing about it. And I told you guys that it was becoming unhealthy, you know, because I felt like I was just forcing things. So I decided to let go and let God and just appreciate my living situation. And this was so unexpected. I'm so happy. Thank you guys. I'm so appreciative. And the other day, it's, it's so weird because the other day I was so emotional thinking about all the support we've gotten, which has led us to be able to do this, to move and so many opportunities in our lives because of the support you guys have given us. And it just made me cry, guys. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I was bawling my eyes out. I think what made me emotional is the fact that people that don't know us personally, are so invested in seeing us succeed. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna cry. That's so selfless, you know, because I don't know, guys. Okay, you know what? I don't wanna talk. I don't wanna get emotion. I don't wanna get, I'm not good with my words. I don't wanna get, I don't wanna make this, I don't wanna cry. I don't wanna make this sad video because this is great news, but I'm so thankful for the support you guys have shown us and given us. I'm so thankful how you guys love our son. Like the amount of love Enzo receives on a daily basis is like so overwhelming and it's so powerful, it's so strong, it's so beautiful. And I know you guys want the best for us and for him and thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. I don't want I don't want to get too emotional, but thank you guys so much for believing in us, for supporting us, and now we finally got a home. I used to make jokes about where I live. And some people thought that it's because I'm un ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful. You can want a bigger space without being ungrateful. But I, I feel like because I it's my situation, I can make jokes about it. But ultimately, I'm a, I'm very grateful to have a roof over my head. Okay, guys. So finding ways to keep the romance alive in our relationship is very important. That's why we try to make time for each other amidst all the chaos of being parents. We are excited to show you the Valentine's Day Galaxy Star Projector from Pococo. Creating a relaxing and romantic environment is ideal when we want to spend special time together. Fellas, you know what I mean. With the wide selection of discs, from star to ocean, the Galaxy Star Projector helps create the ultimate mood for you and your partner. This projector is designed to bring the marvels of the stars into your space like never before. Check out Pococo's Galaxy Star Projector and use our code to get 10% off your purchase today. The most exciting part about this move is that Enzo is going to have his own room finally and me and Tato can get our room back. You know, have a bit more of, you know, intimacy. So we already got the keys of the house. Today Tato is going to get a U-Haul truck to start moving things to our new home. But me and Enzo were going to stay here because Enzo has a routine and he has to sleep and eat and there's nothing in that house so it's best if we just stay here and then watch him and stuff so yeah. I'm just gonna give you guys a tour of this apartment just to show you guys what we've already packed and stuff. We've put some stuff in trash bags, some stuff in boxes. Like this is not gonna be an aesthetic move. All I did was make sure that everything I packed is clean. So I've washed the stuff I packed, I've dusted them out and stuff. Like I told you guys, the house is a mess because we are living, but I've been packing stuff in these trash bags. These are brand new trash bags, by the way, yeah. So I packed stuff in there like shoes, clothes. Tato is going to take all of them to the new home today. And then this is where my vanity area is, right? So I've taken out some shoes already and all that. Um, so this is my vanity area, right? And in the new home, there's not, I don't have an area like this in the new home, right? So I need to buy a vanity mirror, like a vanity desk with a mirror and lights. And I've been looking at some of them, but I don't know, like by looking at the reviews, I'm scared that if I order one, it's gonna come and the mirror is gonna be broken. So I would like to go in store, but the ones I've seen in store, I'm not a fan of. So if you have a vanity, like desk mirror in your house, if you or if you have any recommendations of vanities for me, let me know, cause I really need that 
in our bedroom. I'm really going to miss this area, guys. And what, one thing I'm going to miss is this big mirror. Because in the, our new home, we don't have big mirrors like this in the bedrooms or anything. So I'm really going to miss this. This was my favorite area, guys. This is my favorite area. You guys know we made so many videos in here. And yeah, so one more thing. So this is where I put my shoes, you guys, right? And uh, in the new home, I'm, I'm going to have a walk-in closet. But it's not, it's not too big, though. It's just an average walk-in closet. And I don't know if I could store this in the closet. Or do you guys have any other suggestions for something sturdy that I can use to store my shoes in my walk-in closet? I, I like this one though, but I don't know. So guys, this is our living room! We have boxes, we start packing things. Tato and my brother are gonna drop them off at the new place today. Yeah, this is out of Enzo's toy. His bedroom is super big, guys. And he has a walk-in closet as well, so we'll be able to put some of these toys in his walk-in closet. And just have more space, because his toys are taking over our living room, as you guys can see. Did he cuckoo? Hein, coucou? Tu coucou à la caméra? Oui, bravo! Hi, you like the messy hair day? How do you feel about the move? I feel tired already. Really? <laughs> you haven't even started. I know, I could just feel the tiredness radiating onto me. How do you feel? I mean, I'm excited. I just can't wait to go and actually live there. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be here no more. Really? Yeah. Hey guys, we have a garage. Yeah. How fancy. <laughs> We're crazy. Yeah, we got all the space we need now for this little family. Mm -hmm. Right, little buddy? C'est quoi ça? Tu rigoles ou tu Tu rigoles et tu Tu fais les deux? Ah bon, d'accord. Je pense que t'es content, n'est-ce pas? Tu vas avoir ta propre chambre! Tu vas... <rire> tu vas avoir ta propre chambre, Enzo! Tu vas avoir ta propre chambre! Yeah, yeah. Thank you, baby, for making the moves. Yeah, what kind of moves you talking about? The move for us to actually leave this place. Which was my last name. <laughs> Whatever. But aren't you excited that we're going to have a room back for us? Yes, I'm finally going to have my wife to myself and no more son staring at me in the middle of the night. <laughs> right. Dad, 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 come play with me. Cause now he can stand up. He literally will be standing up. Yeah. We're we'll sleeping and then we we'll wake up and then he's up on the crib. Sometimes he's sitting in the crib. Like I, I think she told me one day they were laying together in the bed and she woke up and he was sitting in the bed with his back facing her. Right, like, like a, a horror, horror movie. movie. <laughs> no, but I'm excited. I'm excited to finally be in the home and just I want to play video games, hang out, sun, have you, you know, have the space that we need. I'm excited about letting him have his own room because he could finally cry it out. Yeah. Like. That was the one thing we weren't really able to do with him was let him cry it out because I want to sleep. I mean, if you want to go into the room and hang out with him, him feel I will, free. I wouldn't let him cry it out. My ass is staying asleep. <laughs> so what are we getting rid of? Um, all the things we don't need. So we're going to keep Enzo. We're going to keep me. We're going to keep the PlayStation 5. It's cute. We're going to keep the my computer. Can you stop? Of course, we're going to keep us. Well, you know, human beings, I'm talking about the things. The oh, furniture. Oh, my bad. I was wrong. I didn't. Yeah. We're getting, what is this called? Uh, Let me show you guys. This is a shelf. They don't even see all that trash. Yeah, why not? This is the real life. <laughs> These are the angles y'all don't see. Yeah, exactly. In our home. They need to see the reality. What is this? I don't even understand what this area has become. Well, this was something that we got as a part of a deal. Yeah. And, and it ended up things. outgrowing its lifespan in yeah. our home. And so once we got our printer, I was like, okay, this will be something I can put the printer on so that we can print documents. And now, don't give me all that nonsense. <laughs> we're getting rid of the bar stools because they are, they are shaking. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to keep one of them for now until we can get a replacement because I'm going to need something to sit on when I feed my son. So she, girl, it's all zoomed into my face, <laughs> looking at your eye and stuff. She don't want things in the house because it doesn't look cute. No. We're in a new home. Guys. She's like, it does, hold on, let me finish my thought. It doesn't look cute. But my mindset is, okay, if we're not going to buy an immediate replacement right away, then we do need to take it with us because it's currently serving a purpose. First of all, first of all, first of all. What? I'm not that type of person that say I, I don't want something in my house because it's not cute. Okay, so I'm going to keep one of those bars. They're stools. broken. One of them is broken. It yeah, isn't. That's what I said. So I'm going to keep one. And you're like... No, no. My thing is that 
we don't want because our our main goal in moving is to create more space for Enzo. Right. And to make the house not cluttered. Right, but so we also it, have a bigger home. And it, yeah, exactly. So there's no point adding things that we don't use or we don't need. Right. They're gonna take space. But I'm not talking about everything that we don't need. So I'm talking about the I'm stools. telling you that by the time we move in we'll have stools. You still can't even pick one. Yeah. You, you literally told me last night you Guys, can't decide we have, because you have no idea what to get. But we have one week to decide. We have one week before we officially move into the place and by then the stools will be there. We have one week to decide then. Yeah. The pressure's on. Yeah, I've been looking every night. The pressure is on because I'm bringing that stool with me. Don't make me that person. What person? The person that is like, oh, I just want cutting. I'm not, my house is not going to be an aesthetic house. It's going to be a functional home. Oh, really? I just want it to That's be clean. That's because I'm going to design it. No, I want it to be clean and I want it to be not cluttered to the space. I think what's really exciting about, you know, being alive, being who we are in our marriage is accepting who we are. Yeah. And just being honest about that. Like, <laughs> don't lie to yourself. You know, just because you don't want to be seen a certain way. You like a beautiful home. I just had this speech with them saying that we're not doing anything aesthetic. I want my home. This guy is a troll, guys. I want, obviously, I want things to be arranged a certain way. Yeah. But I, m my priority is functionality yeah. and space. Yeah. She's really changed a lot. Yeah. Trust me. Because during this house search, there were certain requirements that she wanted. Do not exist anymore. Do not exist. Because I was putting Enzo's first. The need for him to have his own room, playroom, and stuff. That's what helps Over make what things I want. change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as we make decisions that are best for him, it'll fall in line for us. Yeah. I know you were surprised. Some of the homes that I, I wanted, he was really surprised. Sure. My shoe shelf is gone. And then I cleared my vanity. Yep. So yeah. Nice. I can't believe it's gonna be our last day here. Oh my god. It's our last day in this apartment. So many memories. <gasps> Can someone explain this to me? He keeps throwing all of his stuff outside the bed. Huh? Ah <laughs> no? Arrête. Watch so, Enzo. I could watch Enzo. And I blow the truck? I mean, we're, we're fighting I, I, for equality, I don't right? To, I don't want to be my masculine. I mean, y'all say that women have equal rights, right? Let's test it. Because I know the truth right now. Y'all do have equal rights, but when it comes to this, you're going to say no. I don't want Real to be quick. my masculine energy. You go energy. pack the truck and I watch Enzo. After, but do you think we're actually going to be in our home today? <clears throat> yeah, we'll be in our home today. So this is our last day in this apartment? How is going to look? I don't know, but we'll yeah, be able to home it's, it's gonna look nice, but it's gonna take us a little while to get everything in there, so. Yeah. Good thing we have a garage. We can leave some stuff down yeah. there. Can I wait the move into the home? Yeah, if anybody has an extra pair of hands, come on by. <laughs> I mean, by the time you watch this video, I'd be done by now. My body would probably be broken in a million pieces, but please come and help. Okay, so do you think that we should have hired movers? So yeah, I think it might just be time we have hired to movers. not rely on friends and family and just go straight for the movers. And that yeah. way, I can sit back. Yeah. I could chill but and relax just like you. But yeah, but we're almost done, so baby. We're almost done? Yeah, I love you. I, I <laughs> just started moving. We're almost done? But you know what I mean. <laughs> Rubbish. Baby, love you. My, ah, what are you trying to do? I have this on camera. Yeah? This man is trying to take me out. <laughs> All right, guys. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. They're just like that? Closing you packed away, by the way. I know. You can do something. Baby, stop. Baby. I'm Guys, I've, I've packed around. most of the stuff in the boxes. You have people to come for me? <laughs> Why give me that look? I packed a lot of things. Yeah, you did. Exactly. Why give me that look? Her closet is empty. <laughs> After you just took a bunch of clothes. <laughs> it's easy to pack when you're a guy. Why? Because you don't have many clothes. Where are the boxes? <laughs> what? We ran out. <laughs> Buy more. Everybody knows you pack your clothes in bags because it's easier Guys, to the pack the, the items. The trash bags are scented with lemon. Can't you just get normal? What's the problem? I don't, you, the, I don't, isn't the laundry detergent scented? The what? The laundry detergent. Isn't that scented? I don't want my clothes to be smelling lemon from a trash What's bag. What's wrong with lemon? From a trash bag. Okay, you're acting like a princess right now. I'm not. Y'all tell me what she's acting like, a princess or not? Wait, wait, wait. Because like, sometimes in life, you just got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm right doing now it. Right one of those moments. And that's why I'm doing so it. Get, get your feelings out of it. Uh, 
Yeah, I need my underwear. So you're taking my whole thing. Um, Hold on, guys. How many underwear do you need today? One. Okay. Let's, grab, let's grab one for you. Yeah. Guys, if you do this too, let us know. You pack your stuff in trash bags. I'm not complaining. You are. Yeah. I'm just teasing you, you naughty, naughty, oh, naughty, oh, naughty. Oh, oh. Don't scare my child. Oh. Uh, 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 I don't need nothing but ladies calling. I'm trying to get one of them off. But they keep coming from wall to wall. Mm -hmm. I don't need nothing but ladies calling. I'm trying to one of them off. But they keep coming from wall to wall. So you want to work on this? Yeah. Yeah, my brother is here, guys. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, are you single, guys? <laughs> <laughs> He's single, ready to mingle. Yeah, he came to help us get the couch out and other stuff. Yeah, where's Enzo? He's in the bedroom. Tu veux leur montrer ce que tu sais faire? Hold on, guys. Let me show you guys what he can do. He can stack cups on top of each other. Mets ça ici. Oh, attends, attends. Mets, tiens. Mets ça ici. Vas-y. Mets ça ici. Ici. Non, non, non. Mets ça ici. Ah, uh -huh. tiens. Non, non, tu mets ça ici. D'accord. Non, lâche ça. Mm -hmm. Tu mets ça là, mets ça ici, puis mets ça. Tiens, mets ça ici. Ici. Enzo. Ah! Guys, I promise you he could do it. I don't... <laughs> This kid will embarrass you. Mets ça ici. Mets ça ici. Ok, mets ça ici. <laughs> Enzo, mets ça ici, et puis mets ça ici. Uh -huh. Vas-y. Wow! Tiens, mets ça ici. Tiens, tiens. Tiens ça. Prends ça, tu mets ici. Ici. Wow! Puis ça, c'est le dernier. Wow! Alright, guys, so we are finally in our new home. As you can see, these walls don't look the same. Right, so white walls. Mm -hmm. The place is still a work in progress because our boxes are everywhere and we want to. We want to give you guys a house tour when the house is properly, you know. I haven't even done my closet. Me too. And like we put our bed together, but I would say our room is probably the most neglected area yeah, in the entire our bedroom. home. <laughs> we put up the bed and we're like, deuces! <laughs> That was so exhausted. Moving is not easy. I mean, the first night, we slept on the couch. Yeah. I think the uh, priority when we got here is to put Enzo's room together. Yeah. So we put his crib and all that. So Enzo is living his best life. Right now, he's throwing his toys all over the place. Yeah, if that's what you hear, he's throwing his rings and all his cups. Yeah. But I know you're happy, right? I'm happy we're here, guys. I can't I wait for y'all to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Like, you see the smile on her face right now? Just imagine how y'all gonna feel when y'all see... This woman in her full element. Oh my gosh, I am happy. No, for real, guys, let's just be serious. Men, I'm sure you could identify with this. Seeing your wife happy, knowing that you had something to do with that, whether it was just a small fraction or a big fraction, seeing the look on her face, knowing that she's happy about our son and the space that he has. She's happy about the space that she has. Before I met Tato, I had done a vision board. Yeah. And the kitchen on my vision board looks exactly like this one. Yeah. That's crazy! Speaking of vision board, are we gonna tell them about that condom we found while we were moving? That's another story, guys. We have a condom story! Oh, yeah. and it's a good one! Okay, we're gonna do a little yeah, story. Yeah, we have time a little condom that. story to tell you guys. It's so cute, though. I'll just find out about that condom, man. Stay safe, everybody. <laughs> it sounds weird the way he said it, but yeah, it's such a cute story that we'll share with you guys later. But when we're gonna show you guys the house tour, obviously, we don't have a TV stand. Yeah, we're, we're gonna order a new one. We still don't have the stools because I showed them clips saying that we're gonna have our stools before we get here, but we still don't have the stools because I want us to be on the same page. Oh, uh, so okay. We still need a TV stand. <laughs> We need a coffee table. Oh, you need your vanity. Yes, my so, vanity. So, she loved her vanity in her, in her old home. Yeah. But I'm excited to see this woman get a new vanity. Of course, y'all gonna watch me put it together. She's not gonna do that. But, you get to see her use it afterwards. What else do we need? You need me. Yeah, but... What, All what I, I need in this life of sin is me and my wife friend. And me and my wife friend. Wife? Well, because the lyrics is girlfriend, but you're not my girlfriend. Am I white? You're my wife friend. Oh, I thought you said white, white friend. White friend? Why do I want a white friend? They just say it's me and my wifey. And but my then it wifey. doesn't rhyme and it doesn't stick to the original lyrics. Anyways, what was I saying? <laughs> you were saying how great I was. No, we're going to set a budget and yeah. we don't want to max that budget. So if we don't get it in that budget, it's then we're going to wait until the next time. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys so much. We appreciate your support. And we can't wait for you guys to see our beautiful home. See you guys on the next one. Bye. Ciao.